cause of lung cancer is from several factors. <coughs> One is small cell lung cancer, and the other one is non-small cell lung cancer. And the other ones that uh, we talk a lot about the PM 2.5, which is a very important air pollution, we hypothesize that might be one of the cause of the lung cancer in the non-smoker. Lung cancer is one of the most burden disease in Thailand. Especially, I think it is the highest incidence and prevalence together with the mortality rate in the world. But in Thailand, it's a second or third rank, it depends switch between colon cancer, breast cancer and lung cancer, but it's still the important problem in Thailand. Actually, cause of lung cancer is from several factors. I think it depends on the type of lung cancer. So normally we categorize lung cancer in two categories. One is small cell lung cancer and the other one is non-small cell lung cancer. For small cell lung cancer, the majority cause of small cell lung cancer is smoking together with uh, some of the pollution. And for the other one, the non-small cell lung cancer, which comprise a lot of couples of the types of cells, uh, for example, adenocarcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, or large cell carcinoma, and the others. Most of the patient is non-smoker, never smoker before. So what is the cause of this? But uh, the hypothesis is probably is from couples of the factor. And of course, pollution is one of the most important factor as well. But we need to prove for the cause and the result. This is like exactly from the PM 2.5 or the air pollution or not. So back like 10 years ago, when I just complete my training from US, I did a specialist uh, in lung cancer. We do have a lot of lung cancer patients. The patients can access the treatment and together with the intervention and everything, very, very delayed. Uh, for example, when we, it takes a long time, two or three months. So that caused the worsening of the patient's symptoms. And some of the patients might have the staging changing already. So that's why I talked to all of my colleagues who is the specialized in the lung cancer in each field. We need the team that uh, can solve the patients and review the patients and make the decision how to treat these patients. Then we set up the team. We call it uh, the Rama Tibidi Lung Cancer Consortium or the RLC, which is the multidisciplinary team treatment in lung cancer. This is the first one in Thailand. So the new workflow is like we seeing the patients together. It's more like the one-stop service. So the patients is very, very convenient and they can access the intervention, uh, the treatment faster and earlier. And uh, that's why RLC model is very, very important. And uh, we already received a lot of awards with this RLC model from Thailand, couples of the organization, and together with the, the international award from Japan, like Kobayashi Award. We're trying to distribute the RLC model to the other cancer center, but I think it's not just only lung cancer, but it's very important for all cancer patients as well. And it's good to know that several cancer centers already apply our model to that center, and they already uh, start to do this MDT team. This research also received uh, the best uh, abstract award of the year from the RCPT, the Royal College of uh, Physicians of Thailand. And this RLC model is very, very useful for the patients. So that's why we're trying to encourage and uh, to be the model for the other cancer center in Thailand. That one is the, the very useful clinical research regarding the uh, translational science and the basic science. So I have the cooperation with the research center with um, Dr. Narumon Drashu and Dr. Vasan Jantrati. So, and the other ones that uh, we talk a lot about the PM 2.5, which is a very important air pollution. So that we think, we hypothesize that might be 
one of the cause of the lung cancer in the non-smoker. But we need to prove it more and we hope that uh, if we find more, we can encourage uh, the government to control the PM2.5 in the near future. ความรู้ทำให้ทุกอย่างเป็นไปได้มหาวิทยาลัยมหิดลปัญญาของแผ่นดิน